It was a dramatic day in Parliament today. Congress MPs turned up wearing black to protest against Rahul Gandhi's disqualification. Now, there is a lot of confusion about what happens next to Rahul Gandhi and his seat in Vyanar. But there is precedent here and it's not a good one. Let me tell you about what happened in Lakshwati. Mohammad Faisal of the NCP was elected as an MP from the Union Territory. But on January 11th, he was convicted by a local court in an attempt to murder case. Just like with Rahul Gandhi, he was immediately disqualified by the Lok Sabha Speaker. Seven days later, the Election Commission announced by polls for Lakshwati. It was a decision that would boomerang on the Election Commission because the Kerala High Court suspended the conviction against Mohammad Faisal in January itself. And then the Supreme Court cancelled the by polls. But even today, the Lok Sabha has not reinstated him. He is not permitted to attend Parliament even though the conviction was suspended. Mr. Faisal has now moved the Supreme Court against the Lok Sabha Secretariat. He is asking why the notification disqualifying him has not been withdrawn. Mohammad Faisal is joining me live on the show for a quick chat. Mr. Faisal, thank you very much for your time. I do believe that you have now approached the Supreme Court. How many days has it been that you have written to the Lok Sabha Speaker asking for you to attend Parliament and you not being allowed to do so? Just after two days of uh, uh, the Honorable High Court of Kerala's uh, order on uh, uh, suspending my conviction and sentence, I wrote to, to the Honorable Speaker and my floor leader, uh, Mr. Priya Sule, wrote to the uh, Speaker. Then even my counsel also wrote to, to the Secretary General of Lok Sabha. From 27th January 2023 onwards, I've been waiting for uh, reinstating my membership. So far, it has not uh, happened. Which is why you're saying you were forced to go to the Supreme... Hmm. Hmm. Right, yes. This, I've been waiting okay. for quite uh, long. Which is Every perhaps why you I approached the, the Supreme Court. What? My, my leader. Hmm. Hmm. True, true. Hmm. This is the reason why I approached the Supreme Court. Because the, the settled law says that uh, once the uh, apex court suspends the conviction, then the disqualification shall not operate. Uh, that factor has not been considered so far by the Lok Sabha Secretariat. And I have been waiting for such uh, order since two months. And uh, the way they are going ahead, it seems that uh, they are not uh, ready to reinstate me. Then finally, I have to file a writ before the Supreme Court to get my uh, membership back. Uh, in your view, is it a political decision not to let you in to Parliament? Because if, you know, if the Kerala High Court has overturned your suspension and if the bipoles have been cancelled by the Supreme Court, uh, there is very little reason for the Secretariat not to allow you in. Do you think the decision not to allow you inside Parliament is a political one? That we have to consider in that way only. Why? Because uh, the uh, the hasty way they took for disqualifying me and Mr. Rahul Gandhi. It took just 24 hours. I mean, a, a day they needed me to disqualify and Rahul Gandhi. And the way they are looking at the files uh, to reinstate me the membership, it's taking long time and there is no valid reason for stopping me to coming inside the parliament which shows that their attitude towards reinstating is rather a political uh, one rather than going by the law. If they go by the law, here uh, the other constitutional body, which is Election Commission of India, who were notified by election in Lakshadweep, have mm -hmm. immediately stopped after the High Court uh, suspending my conviction. When a constitutional body agrees the mm -hmm. settled law of the land, why the Secretary General is not accepting it? This is a question. Which shows that political will is so, not... So, you know, a lot inside. of Congress leaders... Okay, so there is no political will to accept you inside Parliament is what you're saying. A lot of Congress leaders ever since Rahul Gandhi was uh, sentenced and then disqualified for Parliament have been bringing up your case to say there is precedent that there was no need 
for the parliament for the lok sabha secretariat to actually hurry to suspend mr gandhi uh, i want to ask you what your views are on that and what your views are on the fact that unlike you he hasn't appealed his, uh, his, his uh, you know his sentencing so far see here the the overall scenario we must understand see when a lower court is convicting there are lot many options for the uh, uh, the convicted person to approach the court so what will be the apex court decision one cannot say at this moment of time see in my case what happened now 11th of january the lower court which is sessions court kavarathi convicts me the same day i files appeal uh, to Uh, stop my uh, sentence on online the 11th itself and on 12th january i submit a, a, a petition for uh, suspending my conviction uh, without waiting for uh, the high court what will be the high court decision the uh, lok sabha secretary unilaterally went and disqualified me on 13th what happened and that they, later on they went on a press notification i mean uh, election commission of india uh notified by election also they they did not so wait for the high court what the high court has to say on that so all these i um, mean things which if they would have been waited for high court uh, up, updates uh, this would have been not an embarrassing situation for both the government likewise see this has to be finally mm-hmm. reached to the supreme court to have a final call on this so up, at that point of time though it is an automatic Correct. disqualification but based on the lok prahari case or the uh, lily thomas case though it is an automatic one if mm. government is acting on one leg of the law which is the if the lower court convicts automatically disqualification the speaker's responsibility is just to give a notification see that is the only thing with the, uh, power left with the speaker because it is see certain law but if the same law says that when a pax court send, uh, conviction is suspended or the vice speaker is hesitant to act on it or lok sabha secretariat is hesitant to act on it so one way they are very fast and the other way they are not very fast okay i mean even even they are not thinking of to doing it so here here the uncertainty like you know when when the court is moving from the lower court it has to go to the apex court from there it will move to supreme court so this are a little bit so we can they can give a wait at least so that come to a clear picture then take a call so what happens okay. in my case same case will be in for uh, for, okay. for rahul gandhi also for rahul gandhi thank as you. well we we'll leave it there mohammad faisal thank you very much uh, for joining us i thought it was important to get you here because everyone for the last 72 hours has been talking about your case as a precedent for rahul gandhi we wanted to understand where it states uh, stands right now so thank you very much mohammad faisal for joining us at the top of 6 thank you very much indeed Okay now let me show you what happened in parliament today my colleagues have been doing a tenacious job throughout the day through their work let me show you what unfolded in the parliament complex they spoke to mps they tracked the protests outside take a look at what they sent across Today, opposition party leaders have come together. All of them are sporting black attires in protest. Uh, how are you going to be looking at the proceedings of the house, which did not even last a minute today? Well, all seventeen parties, all seventeen parties, including Trinamool Congress, uh, have joined this protest. We are meeting in front of Gandhi statue. We will be walking up to Vijay Chowk. There will be a collective press conference from all the leaders, and. Uh, this is expressing our collective anguish a collective anger at the manner in which democracy is being murdered by this regime so you think rahul gandhi disqualification is unifying the opposition parties against the government so yeah, it's come there it, there is a, a new sense of unity there's a sense of collective resolve and all opposition parties have come together to fight uh this regime fight the prime minister and his colleagues the home minister and this ideology uh of uh, an undeclared emergency that exists in the country where there is not just no freedom of speech but also there is no freedom of speech kiranav ji aap bhi kale kapde 
मंत्री में मौजूद है कांग्रेस के सांसद कह रहे थे पहले वो ही रहेंगे लेकिन विपक्षी सांसद भी आज काले कपड़े में अपना विरोध दिखा रहे हैं देखिए आज सारे लोग काले लिबास में इसलिए पहुंचे हैं क्योंकि हम लोग विरोध दर्ज कराना चाहते हैं और केंद्र में बैठी बीजेपी को ये जताना चाहते हैं कि जिस प्रकार से भारत के लोकतंत्र को आप लोग समाप्त करने के लिए भारत से विपक्ष जो राजनीतिक विपक्ष है उसे समाप्त करने के लिए आगे बढ़ रहे हैं ये भारत के लोकतंत्र की नींव और बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को हिला के रख देगा आज तमाम बड़े नेता जो विपक्ष के हैं उन्हें पकड़ के जेल में डाला जा रहा है उन पर फर्जी मुकदमे किए जा रहे हैं उनको दो दो तीन तीन साल की कैद दी जा रही है उनकी सदस्यता रद्द करी जा रही है इतना इतने बुरे हालात तो शायद आपातकाल जब भारत देश पे लागू हुआ था इमरजेंसी लागू हुई थी उस दौर में भी नहीं था As you can see, I'm joined by Karthi Chidambaram over here with me, along with uh, Mr. Ojwal over here with me. Sir, you all are wearing black in protest of Rahul Gandhi's disqualification. You are condemning it. You are objecting to it. But where is the space for the opposition to put your protest? Because the house stood adjourned in less than a minute. Today, Usain Bolt would have been impressed by the speed of the speaker in adjourning the house. It's shameful that the speaker did not even want to listen to what we had said. and that he adjourned the house in such quick speed we are here to condemn the uh, illegal disqualification of mr rahul gandhi this was done in haste it is a very crude action it's yet another example of the declining democratic standards in this country whatever mr rahul gandhi spoke at the judge uh, institute in cambridge is only coming true it's getting reinforced every single day our opposition's voice is quelled and we are not allowed to speak we are not allowed to raise issues राजद सांसद मनोज झा हमारे साथ है बात करने के लिए मनोज झा जी काले कपड़े में मौजूद है पहले कहा जा रहा था सिर्फ कांग्रेस के सांसद पहनेंगे लेकिन विपक्षी सांसद भी विरोध में दिख रहे हैं देखिए मैं सीधे तौर पे आपसे कहता हूँ कि आप इंतजार करिए पूरा देश काला धारण कर ले क्योंकि प्रतिरोध के हर स्वर को आप खत्म कर रहे हैं आजादी के पचहत्तरवे वर्ष में और आप जी ट्वेंटी होस्ट कर रहे हैं आप कहते हैं मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी आप तो माँ का कतल कर रहे हैं भाई माँ का कत, कातिल होने के बावजूद आप अगर अट्ठाहस कर रहे हैं तो इस अट्ठाहस को मैं क्या संज्ञान दू लेकिन सरकार की तरफ से तो कहा जा रहा है कि कानून ने अपना काम किया है सरकार ने फैसला थोड़ा नहीं, नहीं कौन सी सरकार कह रही है और किस मुंह से कह रही है एक एक परत उभरेगी ना तो बहुत सारी चीजें सामने आएंगी इंतजार करिए पीपल ऑफ इंडिया शुड सी फॉर दम सेल्वेम दुड रियलाइज है parliament is for debate and discussion parliament is where we want to put our people's views the sufferings that they have and government to try and do something to give them relief we are unable to put that that's how things are 